Hello everyone. So we are back with the uh, next lecture of data compression. Today we are going to study about the dictionary based technique that is LZ77. Now, when we talk about LZ77, this particular coding technique is also called as the sliding window, right? This is the another name for LZ77. Now, there are certain basic concepts that we need to understand before we learn how to encode and decode with the help of this technique. So, as we all know, we are going to use the dictionary concept in this particular technique. The main thing is here we have certain things which we need to understand. That is, first is called as the search buffer, then the look ahead buffer. Now, with the help of this particular image, we can understand that let's say this is the window and here there is a dividing line. This particular is a dividing line. The part that you can see in green is called as search buffer. Search buffer means where you are going to work as the dictionary, right? The alphabets are going to move in this particular part. And the other part that is shown in blue color is called or termed to be as look ahead buffer, right? So these are the two buffers which we are going to work on with. Now, next thing is, which is very important to understand that the text will be moving from right to left. That means the direction of text reading will be from right to left, not from left to right, no. Okay, so this is how the alphabets or the text is going to move in this particular direction. These particular concepts will be, uh, you know, more clear as we move to the example. Few more things that are important for us, that is how we are going to give a output when we encode. That means whenever we encode this particular dictionary based as it's 7.7, we get this particular output, which are work in three dimensions. That is first is the offset, second is the length, and third is the next symbol. Now, what are these three things? What is offset? First of all, offset is the count from the dividing line, which we have seen in the earlier slide, between search and look ahead buffer. That means this is the count from the dividing line between search and look ahead buffer. This is the dividing line, and we are going to count the number of alphabets from this search buffer. That is called as offset, right? Next is length. Now, what is length? Length is the total string matched or the span of string matched in look ahead buffer corresponding to search buffer. That means what we are going to do, we are going to match the alphabets from look ahead buffer corresponding to the search buffer. So whatever the total length that is matched is going to be defined in this particular part that is length. Third thing is the symbol. Now the symbol is the next character of the string which is encountered after the complete match of the string. That means if we have seen match that is AA and after that we are figuring out C that means the next symbol is C and AA is already matched right and let's say this is the dividing line this is the look ahead buffer and this is the search buffer right so this is what we have in the concepts that we need to understand now let's move to the example that will give you a more clarity on this LZ77 is that let's say this is the total string or the text that is being defined and we need to encode this, right? So first of all, uh, one more thing that is, there will be given a window size that will always be fixed. That means we have seen, uh, it is also called as sliding window. So what does this sliding window means? The blue color, this dark blue color is shown as the window. Right, so we are going to start with the window and this particular window will be of size six as it will not be more than six. 
right and it will be slided further as the alphabets are being matched second thing is the longest match we have shown the sky blue color as the longest match this particular right and third thing is green color which is going to show the next character so what we are going to see we have the output as we have already seen what will be the uh, concept this will be the offset this will be the longest match or the total length and this will be the next symbol okay so this is how the output will be generated so let's understand how we are going to move further so first thing the first alphabet that is being encountered and moved into this window is a right this is the first character being encountered so this is a and because there is no offset this is the first symbol no offset is there and no matching is there because this is first so zeros will be given for offset and for length so it will be zero comma zero comma a so whatever the symbol we are encountering first time will always be the offset as zero right so next is now we have seen this particular a dark blue color is the window this has been moved into the window now we have next symbol that is a now this is what we can see that this is the look ahead buffer this is the complete look ahead buffer to make it more clear look ahead buffer which we have seen in the first slide and this particular part will be the search buffer and this is the dividing line okay now we have encountered a again so you can see a and a are matching right so after that let's see another symbol this is c so this is not being matched with any one right so this is being encountered first time so a is given as one and then this is the offset because this is first sim first position after the dividing line how many symbols are being matched this is a that is offset as one what is the length that is being matched only a is being matched so on, again one and then the next symbol is c which is shown in green green color that is the next character so we are going to write next symbol as c right so offset one length one total matching and next character c now this window will be slided and this is the complete window now right because a a c has been encountered now let's see we have next symbol as a which is again being matched let's see one more again a so a a again a a can be matched we have this in search buffer then we have a a c again we can see a a c can again be matched right then we have a now you can also see again a a c a can again be matched then we have b now b is not being matched a a c b no a a c a is being the total length of the symbols which are going to be matched so how many 1 2 3 4 so four are being matched so total length that is being matched is four that we have defined here next character is b so next character b is defined here and offset is 3 offset how do you find offset from the dividing line to the search buffer how many you have is the offset so that is 1 2 and 3 so this is the offset here how you find the offset dividing line and how many um, position first position so that is why this was one now again now you can see the sliding window will be moving the size of the sliding window is total six only right so we have to move the sliding window up till b and b will be taken up 1 2 3 4 5 c so it will be taken up till c so you can see the blue color is now only for these 
Why only for these? Why these are not being used? Because the total window size is six. So we have to keep six characters in this particular. Others will slide through. Now let's find out further. Now we have C in look ahead buffer. The first symbol encountered is C. Obviously I can see a match for C. Let's move further. C A, yes, C A is again there. Let's move further, C A B. Yes, CABA is again there. And then we have CABA. No, CABA is not there. So next character will be A. That is shown in green color. So next character A. And what is the total length that is being matched? CAB is mag being matched. So one, two, three, three. So the length total symbols matched are three. And the offset, how do you find the offset? From the dividing line, one, two, three. So from here you started the matching, right? So that is why this is three. So three is the offset. So this is how you define the offset length and the next symbol. Now moving further, now the uh, window will slide through this particular part. How it will slide? Now the window will be starting from here because we have encountered till here. So A, B, A, C, B, A. Count the six characters from here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So the window will be now till here. Now you can see this particular window is from here to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? Now moving further, we have A. Again, encounter the symbol A. Obviously we have a match for A. Then we have A again. So we can see A is again being matched this A and this A again matched. And then we have C. So C is the next character which is not being matched. So C is taken as green. Next character C. How many, uh, you know, uh, characters are being matched? The length is two because A, A is being matched. So this is two symbols. How to count the F offset from the dividing line? Count the position. From here, we are matching A. Right, so this is one. So that is why offset is one. So this is how you get the output for the encoding of LZ77. Right, now let's see how do we decode it. In the decoding part, what we need to do is we have just taken a simple example and then we will uh, see how we are going to decode. Now, in the decoder, the decoder keeps the same dictionary window as encoder. Now, as the encoder has a dictionary window, the decoder is also going to keep the same dictionary window for finding out the string. Finds substring and inserts a copy of it. So example is given scene. See example is given. This is what the question is. This particular window, this particular dictionary window is there and the code word is given as 29e. Now I have to find out the complete string. Now just see a, b, c, d is given and 29e. What is 2? 2 is offset. Let's say a, b, c, d. And then we have a dividing line. So this is the search buffer. This is the search buffer. And this is the look ahead buffer, right? But we need to find, we have the output and we need to find these particular symbols here. What are those? So you can see the offset two is given. So offset means the position from dividing line two, which is being matched. So this is one and this is two. So I would say offset means this is being matched, right? And nine is the length. That means total nine symbols are being matched. And then the next symbol is being encountered as E. So what we are going to do, just we are going to define as A, B, C, D. This is already given, right? And now I am going to repeat this because this is going to give you total nine characters. So C, D, two, 
C D four C D six C D eight and again C. So that gives you nine and then you will write E because E is the next symbol, right? So this is how you get the output for the decoding part, right? So what you need to do is only enter the dictionary, which is given window alphabets, which are given in the question and the output that is given is you need to understand what is the offset, what is the total matching length and the next character. So two is the Two is the offset. So from the dividing line, count to one, two. So this is the match. And how many times it is being matched that we have to define nine. And the last character that is next character is E. So this is what the output is, how we are going to find. So I hope you must have understood the LZ77. Thank you very much.